Hello everyone, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, we are going to see how to publish a API to the Flex Gateway running as a ingress controller or running as a ingress, Kubernetes ingress controller. So in last video, we have already set up a Flex Gateway as a Kubernetes ingress controller in the connected mode. And also we have seen like how to set up the Flex Gateway as a Docker container and publish the API to it. And in last video, we have also seen like how we can enable the auto scaling on the flex gateway. So generally you can implement the auto scaling when you are setting up the flex gateway as a Kubernetes ingress controller. So let's start publishing the API to the, the flex gateway. So basically I have already created a flex gateway as an ingress controller. And if you see there are two replicas for this particular flex gateway is running. Then also I have a few endpoints or also or few application running in the Docker container. So I have this Node.js API. This is order MuleSoft API and this is the employee API. Let me browse each and every API. So I can say HTTP localhost 9000. So we got a response from employee. Same thing like let me change this to HTTP localhost. 9002 API slash orders. So I got a response from orders. I have a third API which is written in Node.js localhost. I can simply it's running on port 9003. I can say health. I got the response from all the three APIs. Now I want to publish these APIs to the flex gateway so I can manage, secure, discover, and engage my API easily. So for that, I will go to this particular flex gateway. I will go to APIs. Then I will say add API. So here you can see multiple options, flex gateway, mule gateway and service mesh. So you can select flex gateway and it will list down all the connected and disconnected flex gateway. But it will all it will only allow you to select the flex gateway which is in connected state. Just select this, say next. Now I can create a new API and I can say employee Uber API. Select the type, I will say HTTP API, simply say next. That's it. Let's wait. Now I have to provide the implementation URI. So I will just provide the implementation URI my employee. I don't have to provide the full URI, just the implementation URI. And I will just replace localhost with the IP address of my PC. I'll just copy this URL and keep with me. Just browse this. Let's see what response we will get. Yeah, I have to pass API employee also slash API slash employees. So I got a similar response. So that's fine. Either you, you can use localhost and I will use port uh, or like protocol HTTP and port number. Let me see what port number we can use. So you can see kubectl service or instead of that, I will say mini cube service list minus n gateway. So here you can see port number 80 for HTTP 443 for HTTPS. We're going to see how to publish API on HTTPS also, but for now we will say 80. And you just say next, save and deploy. Okay, so before I do that, let me do one more thing. So you can see your API has been published. So let me, it's let me copy this URL 192. Dot, this is the private URL. So you cannot directly access this URL from the outside. Copy this and go to Notepad. I will just say enter, and I will just say API slash employees. So what will happen? This URL will receive the request and forward request to this URL. It will automatically take the resource path. Okay, so copy this. Then I can go to my mini cube. I can open C URL. I can say C URL. 
and I will just paste this URL. See, we got a successful response via Flex Gateway. Right? We got that response. Now, I cannot uh, deploy the second API on the same port. But in next video, I will going to show how we can expose the multiple APIs on the different port using Flex Gateway as an ingress controller. So here I have few articles. Uh, let me go to you. So it, it providing the step by step approach. So you can go to this particular art articles. Okay. So here we have three articles and under that you can see all the step by step approach. Okay. So you can see this. It will show everything. Okay. I, if you like, uh, I have a question like if you want to access the application from outside the mini cube, what we can do? So there is one command mini cube service ingress. So service name is ingress. You can see it here minus minus URL or I will say minus n gateway minus minus URL. So it will provide one uh, URL which will tunnel between your like you know flex gateway and your application. So I can use this URL, the first URL, and I can go to my browser and simply say API slash employees. I got a response, right? And also let me show you something before I can apply the policies also. Add policy. And I will simply use some security policy basic authentication next. I can say admin admin. So let me copy this URL. Let me go to Chrome. I can give admin admin. I got a successful response. And if you try to see URL also, right? So it will give some error. So let me copy this. I go to Minikube. I can say see URL. So it will give the authentication error, right? This is correct. Uh, I have to pass like uh, authentication headers and all those things, right? So you can definitely do that. That's simple, like, you know. So this is how you can publish your API to the flex gateway running as an ingress controller. Also, I want to show you one more thing. If you go to your, sorry, I have to go to settings, but that's fine. If you go here, you can see some kind of analytics generated. You can see number of requests. You can see total policy volition, total errors. And like, you know, so you can see like average response time. So here you can see, apart from that, you can go to any point monitoring also. Just select your application, just select the instance, just say view. Okay. So here you can see like, you know, a lot of thing, uh, failed request, you know, we got some error, right? Failed request. So we can see one request is failed. Total 4x error, like we got that, right? So we got that. And it will show like all the average response time, lot of data available. So it can be used for troubleshooting purpose or for analysis purpose. So yeah, so that is how you can expose a single uh, API to your Flex Gateway. In next video, we will going to see how we can publish a multiple APIs to your Flex Gateway. Right. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please click on subscribe and like button. Thanks for watching.